Boy, this has just got to be the strangest day ever. People keep missing each other. I bet now that Sherry's gone to look for them, Tatiana and Zachary will arrive. <laughs> hey, Kino, we're back. What did I tell you? You're back. I'm ready to read Monster Mama. And I brought my little sister along, Siri. Good thing you found Zachary, Tatiana. Kino was so anxious to have you come back. Uh, all right. Let's skip all the chit-chat and get to it. Man, after all this waiting. Woo. Okay, well, I hope you guys like this book. It's one of my personal favorites. Liz Rosenberg wrote it, and Stephen Gamble did the illustrations. It's called Monster Mom. <laughs> Patrick Edward was a wonderful boy, but his mother was a monster. She lived in a big cave at the back of the house. Sometimes she painted, sometimes she guarded, and sometimes she tossed Patrick Edward lightly up and down in the air for fun. He called her Monster Mama. <laughs> her bad moods terrified the neighborhood. Still, she had the sweetest touch in the world when Patrick Edward ran a fever. She taught him how to roar, how to jump and climb, and how to cast a spell that could put almost anyone asleep. Patrick Edward was fearless like her. She told him, always use your powers for good, never for evil. On rainy days, when she drove him to school, she hid herself in a big cloak and hood. When he invited friends over, she baked cookies for them and watched secretly from the cave. She never introduced herself to Patrick Edwards' teachers or piano instructor. They don't need to meet me, she said. So Patrick Edward passed out the cookies himself and learned how to make friends on his own. One day, Patrick Edward's mother told him to pick out something lovely for dessert. Something with strawberries, she called after him. He decided to try the new market across town. He picked out some lovely strawberry tarts. But out in the parking lot, three big boys circled him. Yum, the first boy said, grabbing the grocery bag. Another boy waved his baseball bat. Patrick Edward was unafraid. Creeps, he sang out, snatching back the bag. The boys ran after him. They chased him down the street and into an empty lot. Villains, farewell, howled Patrick Edward. He jumped over a creek flew through the woods and bounded upside a small mountain. But the three boys caught up to him. We'll show him who's boss, they said. So Patrick Edward chanted the spell that would make them fall asleep. But though he said the words in the right order and looked them straight in the eye, those boys couldn't be charmed. They gobbled up Patrick's lovely dessert and tied him to a tree with a piece of twine. They threw his cap off the mountain, and they tossed the paper bag after him. Lizards, Patrick Edwards said scornfully. Death to all tyrants. Ah, your mother wears army boots, snarled the biggest boy. What, said Patrick Edward. You heard me, said the boy. The other two smirked. You leave my mother out of this! Patrick Edward roared so loudly the whole mountain rang. He broke the baseball bat like a loaf of stale bread and tossed the pieces over his shoulder. Then he chased the boys back down the mountain and through the woods. His eyes glowed as his laughter was truly monstrous. Who knows what might have happened next? But Monster Mama heard the echoes of the roar. She zoomed out of her cave like a fast-moving freight train. 
and sailed over the creek in one graceful leap. Who is that? shrieked the boys. Let's skip the introduction. Patrick Edwards' mother howled. Pick up the bat! The three boys scampered after it. Don't forget the hat, she snapped. They found it hanging from a bramble bush. Her eyes had little red flames. And who broke the baseball bat? Patrick Edward blushed. And I still want something lovely for dessert. She thundered and she marched all the boys back home where they feverishly sifted and stirred the baked strawberry tea cake with French whipped cream on top. Yum. <laughs> At the supper table, Patrick Edwards said, strength is for the wise, not the reckless. More cake, please, he added. The three boys had second helpings. Monster Mama carried out the dishes. Patrick Edwards stacked them. No matter where you go or what you do, she told him, I will be there because I am your mother, even if I am a monster, and I love you. As soon as it grew dark, Patrick Edward walked the boys to the gate. Your mother's something else, they told him admiringly. It runs in the family, answered Patrick Edward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Zach. I can see why you like that book. I told you it was one of my favorites. <laughs> well, a story about a magic house, one about a magic penny, and another one about a magical monster mama. There are lots of books with magic in them. Oh, I know, I know. And one of my favorite favorites is The Secret in the Matchbox. It's about a boy who takes his magic matchbox to school, and the teacher gets a big surprise. Oh, you know what it is? There's a dragon inside the matchbox. <laughs> oh, oh, sounds good. And this is The Woman Who Flummoxed the Fairies. It's a magical tale about a baker woman who refuses to be pushed around by the fairies. Thank you, Zachary, Tatiana, for reading to us. Yeah, and for bringing that extra cool book, Zach. <laughs> and so, it's goodbye. And until next time... Keep, Keep a story in your, your heart. heart. See you later, you little magic monsters. Bye-bye. <laughs>